Hello everyone and welcome to New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host Richard Evans. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Now today I'm going to show you how to get the output of your TriCaster to send as a video source within Microsoft Teams. So instead of using your webcam for your meetings, you can now use the full power of TriCaster to provide a professional looking video production to your Microsoft Teams meetings. Now, all of this is done using the power of NDI. Now, uh, Live Call Connect on the TriCaster 2 Elite makes this easy, but you can also use any NDI-enabled TriCaster to supply video as well. So, let me show you how it's done, son! All right, so here I am on my desktop, which will be running my Microsoft Teams meeting today. And I also have my NDI Studio Monitor open so that I can preview the uh, output of my TriCaster and run my production here remotely uh, with all my graphics and lower thirds uh, and yeah, picture in picture, etc. Okay, so basically what we're going to try to do is we're going to get the output, the video output and audio of our TriCaster and send that via... Microsoft Teams to our uh, whoever we're going to be doing a meeting with, okay? So there's a few things that we need to do. The first thing that you'll need is going to be NDI Webcam, which you can download for free at ndi.tv. So here's NDI Webcam. Let's go ahead and select that and close that. And you go to the bottom of your uh, screen, click on your carrot in your system tray and open up NDI Webcam. And this application, the new version of it, allows you to have four different video feeds that you can assign to uh, NDI sources. So uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to go to video number one here for today's example. I'm going to click on this gear icon, and then let's find the output of my TriCaster. Now, I am using a TriCaster 2 Elite for this example today, but you can use any NDI-enabled uh, TriCaster uh, to accomplish this. So, uh, we have a TriCaster Mini. That will work as well. Okay, so now we have that configured. You can see that here at the bottom. It's echoing what I have over on my TriCaster. So, now we need to tell Microsoft Teams to accept this feed. So, to do that, we'll go over to the Microsoft Teams application. Click on these three dots here, go to settings, and then under devices, let's go ahead and change the camera first. So first of all, you'll see camera, uh, it's currently selected as the webcam that is on my desktop, but if I click the drop down, you'll see that those are all the different feeds that I have from the NDI webcam application. So let's go ahead and select NDI webcam video one, and give it a second to process. Boop, there we go. Pretty cool. So uh, if I move this over, you'll see if I do a transition, for example, that's all happening right there in real time uh, for us to play around with. All right. Now that's just getting the audio, the video over. So the next thing we need to do is the audio. So if we go up to the top of the screen here, we'll go up to the microphone. And instead of the microphone coming from my camera again, we can select NDI webcam number one. Boop, there it is. All right, and then next thing we need to do is simply make a call. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Let's call Lenny and see what he's up to. So while that's connecting, you'll see there's Lenny's smiling face. And then there at the bottom of the screen, once everything gets processed, there you go. Hi, Lenny. How's it going? Pretty good. He doesn't know what I'm saying. <laughs> But you'll see also at the bottom of the screen here on the bottom right, uh, there is the feed that is coming from my TriCaster. So a few steps, but pretty easy to do. And it takes your team's game to a whole new level with the power of NDI and TriCaster. So play around with it and have some fun. So as you can see, this is a game changer. Trade your webcam for a fully formed broadcast via the power of NDI and TriCaster. Now, for more tutorial videos like this one to help you learn more about new tech products, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash newtechinc. You can also receive formal new tech product training by signing up at New Tech University, which you can find more information about at newtech.com slash newtech-u. And for more information on new tech products and services, contact your local reseller or visit our website, newtech.com. And if you're posting your work with new tech products on social media, make sure that you tag us using the hashtags newtech, tricaster, or 3play. We love seeing what you're working on. 
Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you again soon for another episode of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials.